everyone, I'm Dr. Tanya Das, Infertility and IVF Specialist at IHRF Kolkata. So today, we'll be talking about Intracytoplasmic Sperm Ejection or ICSI. So what is ICSI? ICSI is an advanced fertility treatment in which what we do is we take an egg and we select a viable and nutrient sperm and we inject that sperm directly into the egg. So how does it help? ICSI, what it does is the egg barrier, the barrier that is the cellulose and the outer membrane of the eggs, the, the ICSI procedure directly gets inside the cytoplasm of the egg and hence the barrier that is provided by the cellulose as well as the wall of the eggs is quite fast. Coming to when do we do ICSI? So ICSI is mainly done for severe male factor infertility. So what is severe male factor infertility? Severe male factor infertility, we see three parameters in the sperm. That is the count of the sperms, the motility of the sperms, and the morphology of the sperms. Now, if uh, any of these parameters is defective, we offer ICSI. So in some uh, men, we also see that all these factors are present. That is oligoesthermoteratozospermia. So in those cases as well, ICSI is considered to be a bone. Also, if we do PISA or PISA procedures in a male who is suffering from obstructive azoospermia, ICSI has to be performed in a bed. Other cases in which ICSI is done is unexplained infertility. Also, we do ICSI in patients who have had previous IVF failures or if their previous IVF has resulted in total fertilization failure. The next case in which we do ICSI is in patients whom we have planned that they would be undergoing pre-gestational testing of the embryos. So in those cases, it is better that we do ICSI, prepare the embryos and then get the biopsy of the embryos from there. Many patients do ask, what is the difference between IVF and ICSI? So IVF and ICSI is non different. ICSI is just an elder brother of IVF. So in IVF, what we do is we take eggs from the woman, we take spores from the men, and then in a petri dish, we mix the eggs and the spores. The spores, which are motai, they naturally go and fertilize the oocytes. But if the spores are weak, that is in cases of male factor infertility, the spores cannot go and fertilize the oocyte on its own. In those cases, we select the spores and we directly inject into the oocytes. So it's almost the same IVF and ICSI, but ICSI is an advanced form of IVF as well. So the next question that arises from here is, is IVF better than ICSI or is ICSI better than IVF? The indications for both IVF and ICSI are different. So if ICSI is indicated, that is, if there is severe male factor infertility, we have to do ICSI, there's no option of IVF. And when the uh, question arises whether IVF is better than ICSI, IVF is a conventional method in which a natural selection process of the sperms takes place. In ICSI, we do select the sperms and inject into the oocyte. There is no natural selection. Natural selection is always considered better, but there has been two school of thoughts regarding this. Some centers opt for ICSI for all patients. And some centers believe that IVF being a conventional method, taking natural selection into consideration is better in those cases in which ICSI is not required. So coming to benefits of ICSI. ICSI has a benefit that it increases the fertilization rate. It has been seen that the fertilization rate is almost 80% with ICSI procedure. So in cases in which ICSI is done, the fertilization rate actually improves. So what can be done to improve outcomes with ICSI procedure? So ICSI is itself a very advanced form of treatment. You need to select your IVF center accordingly because it is uh, using micro manipulation, a microscope. The centers which has high success rate with ICSI has to be selected. Also, the eggs and the sperms have to be of good quality to get a good embryo. So, your lifestyle matters in improving the quality of your yuff, eggs and spots. Lifestyle modification is a must. If you are have, or smoking or consuming alcohol, you have to stop that. You have to take a nutritious diet and improve your quality of sleep and reduce your stress. That way, we can improve the outcome 
uh, with your ICSI and IVF as well. So that will be all for today. For more information regarding ICSI, please visit our website or you can contact us at given below number and visit us at our center as well. Thank you.